the same problem but the simulation analyst decides to estimate the other pro other statistics that is what are those statistics is mean response time and mean propagation of customer who spent 5 or more than 5 minutes in a system that is how much more 5 minutes if the customer is spending 5 minutes or more than 5 minutes we need to just note that how many number of customers are spending more time and here what are all the statistics is nd is nothing but total number of departures how many number of customers are going out and s is nothing but sum of all response times of the customers customers response time this is what the cumulative statistics from this statistics we can calculate finally average response time is equal to s by nd some observed proportion of customer who spent 5 or more than 5 minutes is f by nd this we can calculate from this simulation table the values are same that is inter arrival time and service times are same considering now always simulation starts at clock time 0 and initially in a queue none of the customers will be waiting and first customer gets the service enter into the service now what is this checkout line is which customer is in service and which customer is in waiting go on we will list that customers and here we will specifically mention whether this customer arrived at what time and at what time he is going out customer numbers previously we have just mentioned arrival and departure but here customer numbers also will be mentioned in that is first one customer is in service that is c1 customer entered at clock time 0 now in future event list we are noticing that arrival that is next arrival means customer c2 at what time now the clock time is 0 and next inter arrival time time gap between two arrivals is 1 0 plus 1 1 minute at 1 minute customer c2 will arrive here represents same as already the customer c1 in the system c1 at what time that customer will be going out departing that is service time 0 plus 4 4 minutes and the stopping event that is e comma 60 now we'll see the statistics yes is nothing but initially is 0 nothing simulation is mode so initial value 0 0 now advance the clock to the imminent event that is 1 minute 1 minute what is happening is customer c2 entering into the system so it should wait now already c1 in service now c2 entered at clock 1 clock time 1 now we'll write the next arrival next arrival is inter arrival time is 1 minute and now time is 1 minute 1 plus 1 2 minutes now the customer number is c3 still the customer 1 not at departure so write as it is e comma 60 now from this is the sum of customer response time not at completed one customer service so we cannot uh, add the value no departures and f is nothing but more than 5 minutes not at completed 5 minutes zero now the next time is 2 minutes what is happening one more customer is arriving that means two customers in a queue and one customer in service so we need to mention all the three customers in checkout line c21 and c3 at clock time 2 now we should write one arrival one departure next arrival clock time is 2 and the next inter arrival time is 6 that means 2 plus 6 8 so that becomes the more time so first you write the departure and next arrival is 8 minutes customer number 4 and 60 not completed a customer service so we cannot take the cumulative statistics now 
at clock time 4 what is happening is c1 completing the service now move the clock to 4 and complete the service so 1 will get the service 1 will be in queue only c2 in server and c3 in waiting queue now we need to calculate one departure departure means service time service time 2 minutes and now the customer entered at clock time 4 4 plus 2 6 so departure becomes less time that is c2 will complete the departure at 6 minutes and same as it is you record that now we'll get the statistics from 0 to 4 minutes at 4 4 minutes okay full busy server is busy so note as it is server busy and one customer is out number of departure departure and that f f is not it is not more than 5 minutes so 0 next clock time is 6 at clock time 6 what is happening is c2 is departing that means c2 here going out means here c3 already in queue gets the service okay now only one customer in service and one arrival already so we will calculate the departure that is at clock time 6 entered into the queue and needs 5 minutes service that means 6 plus 5 that is 11 minutes so 8 is the least time write this 8 c4 and departure is 11 c3 customer 3 yes now see here 6 4 to 6 minutes okay that is 2 minutes server is busy as well here waiting in a queue we need to calculate the time that is here one customer waiting one minute and one more customer waiting for two minutes that is two into that is two minutes into two customers this becomes four and here one and here again two minutes one customer so four plus two six plus one seven minutes in a queue sorry five minutes that is two minutes into two customers in a queue and one minute into one customer so for this statistics four plus one five minutes five minutes plus the previous value is four five plus four this becomes nine nine minutes the system is busy that is sum of customer response time okay and next this is number of uh, departures now customer c2 also completed service two departures and now we'll check if the customer is spending more than five minutes or five minutes yes see this customer c2 at what time entering clock time one and at what time departure departure by six six minus one five minutes so one statistics is one next clock advances to imminent event time eight now the clock time is eight at clock time eight one more arrival that means waiting in a queue that is c3 customer at clock time 2 minutes and C4 customer at 8 minutes. Now again we need to calculate one arrival. Now the present time is 8 and the next inter arrival time is 3. That means 8 plus 3, 11. So next arrival is 11 that is customer C5 as well c3 departures the same time not at departure any customer so cumulative statistics as it is
when we'll get departure then only we'll calculate next clock advances to 11 at clock time 11 one arrival and one departure both will be going out okay so one customer here in a queue will get the service and none of the customers will be yes uh, from this waiting line enter into service and this customer waits in a queue so c4 gets service and c5 waiting in a queue now we need to calculate one arrival and one departure one ar arrival what is the time now 11 minutes next inter arrival time is 7 that is arrival is 18 before going we will check the service time 11 plus 5 15 so 15 becomes the less value 15 that is which customer in service c4 and arrival is 11 plus 7 that is 18 c next arrival is 6 so now one departure is happened we need to calculate the statistics that means now already statistics is 9 minutes customer c3 completed the service now c3 completed service at what time 11 minutes but entered at what time c3 entered at 2 minutes 2 minus that is 11 minus 2 is 9 so 9 plus previous value 9 so this becomes 18 okay and number of departures 3 and here see actually uh, 9 minus uh, sorry 11 minus uh, 2 is 9 means more than 5 minutes so 2 of the customers spent more than 5 minutes next clock advances to 15 it is at clock time 15 what is happening is one departure okay this customer will gets the service who is in queue gets the service that is c5 customer gets the service and arrival already it is there so we'll calculate one departure okay departure now the clock time is 15 and the service time is one minute so the departure is 16 minutes the c5 completes the service Now, no, yes, one departure is happened. Now we will calculate which is fourth customer completes the service. Fourth customer completed the service C4 at 15 but entered into the system at clock time 8. 8 and 15, that is 5 minutes. So count increases and 5 plus this 18. 18 is 23 sorry 15 7 sorry this is 7 minutes c4 15 entered at 8 so the time how much he is spending in a system is 7 minutes 7 plus 18 that is 25 minutes and now how many number of departures 4 completed but it is more than 5 minutes spending 7 minutes is more than 5 count will increase now the clock time becomes 16 clock time 16 c5 completes the service so no customers in a queue and server because at a clock time 18 next customer will arrive so here only arrival 18 c6 and the stopping time is 60 now departure is completed now we'll calculate the c5 customer okay c5 customer completing 16 minutes but entered at 11 16 minus 11 that is 5 minutes yes count increases 5 minutes as well number of departures 5 
फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज थर्टी टोटल कस्टमर रेस्पॉन्स टाइम नेक्स्ट टाइम एडवांस टू एटीन एट क्लॉक टाइम एटीन के वन ऑफ द कस्टमर इज अराइव दैट इज सी सिक्स एटीन नो कस्टमर्स इन ए क्यू नाउ फॉर दिस कस्टमर वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट डिपैचर एंड द नेक्स्ट कस्टमर अराइवल नाउ अराइवल दैट इज द क्लॉक टाइम इज एटीन नेक्स्ट इंटर अराइवल टाइम इज फाइव एटीन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट अराइवल सी सेवन एज वेल दिस पर्टिकुलर कस्टमर डिपैचर एटीन प्लस सर्विस टाइम फाइव सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी थ्री दैट इज सी सिक्स कस्टमर एंड एंडिंग स्टॉपिंग टाइम इज सिक्सटी मिनट्स नॉट एट डिपैचर सो नो नीड टू कैलकुलेट द स्टैटिस्टिक्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट टाइम एडवांस एट क्लॉक टाइम ट्वेंटी थ्री यस दिस सर्वर कम दिस कस्टमर कंप्लीट द सर्विस एज वेल वन मोर कस्टमर एंटर्ड इन टू द सर्विस सो सी सेवन एट ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट अराइवल वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट एंड नेक्स्ट दिस डिपैचर डिपैचर इज ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस सर्विस टाइम इज फोर दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी सेवन डिपैचर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कस्टमर सी सेवन इज ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड अराइवल इज ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस इंटर अराइवल टाइम इज टू मिनिट्स दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव अराइवल ट्वेंटी फाइव इज कस्टमर एट स्टॉपिंग टाइम इज Sixty. Yes, one departure has happened. So now calculate the statistics. That is, sixth customer is completed the services. Uh, C six sixth customer completed the services at twenty three, but entered into the system at clock time eighteen. Twenty three minus eighteen. That is five minutes. So five minutes. count will increase 5 or more than 5 minutes as well one departure count is 6 this is how to simulate the statistics table now this is simulation table is completed now calculate the values values of that is Average response time. Yes. What is the S value? Is thirty five divided by number of departures is six. Next, same as observed proportion of customers who spent in five or more than five minutes is F. F is five divided by what is N D value? Is six. This is how to calculate the statistics. from the simulation table